Hey, Marta, this is Amy from Build Up Digital Marketing. Following your conversation with my partner, Sabrina, here's the video uh, she promised you, which I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks on how you can improve your online presence. So as you can see, I'm already on your website, so I'm going to jump right into it. And the first thing I notice is that you have your phone number and your social media linked, which is absolutely fantastic. People don't like to look for a way to contact you when they want a service. So very well done on that. Um, small little details here. Uh, you've got your website is currently not secured. So we need to check the SSL um, certification to make sure it's it didn't um, lapse and now okay so you you've got a home page that's pretty uh, short meaning uh, you've got uh, you don't have much written content and Google likes to see an upward of 1500 words on a home page I know it might sound like a lot but it also makes it a lot easier to put in those keywords you also have your opening hours written right down there. Something you could also add right here would be um, a list of all the areas where you offer your services. That way it would help you start ranking for those specific location. And now let me just see quickly how those pictures were saved. Um, so here, the best way to save pictures would be to put a keyword in it. So for example, kitchen renovation, and then you can put also your company name in there and a location. So wherever that specific job was done, you could add that into the way you save the pictures and that would help you rank as well organically in the long run. Uh, and it's also a very easy fix, quick to do. So right now I'm going to jump over to Google where I did a simple search, Kitchen Renovation Vancouver. And the first section we get here is the paid advertisement section, as you can see with the little ad AD right before the URL. This section is obviously, as it says, it's paid advertisement. It's very efficient because it puts you at the very top of the first page. However, some people don't like to click on those links. And for those people, they're likely to end up in this second section here, which is the Google My Business. As you can see, there's only three spots visible from the get go. So that, which is why it's so important to get one of those spots. Obviously that's for those specific keywords here, but it's important to get one of those spots in there because uh, if you want to maximize the client conversion, if you, we maximize the people, the traffic coming to your website, obviously it should convert into clients at some point. Once again, most people will not click on more businesses to find an, another company listed further. And then the last section we got is the organic section here where we have a lot of directories. That's a directory right there. We've got a few companies whose is another directory and so on. Yelp's another one. And then we've got a few other advertisement at the bottom of the page. So I took this company here, TQ Construction, and we're going to do a quick comparison with their website. So here, I'll be honest, I definitely prefer your the design of your website currently over this one. And they do have a phone number right here. And this is a button, also a call to action button that will get them get people through faster. And let me see how they save those pictures. See Carisdale kitchen renovation, main level open concept. There's a lot of keyword. There's also a location. The only thing to add is the company name, but overall, and they still don't have much written content, right? So we're going to see jump over to AREF and see how they are managing to rank on the first page. So here I put TQ construction in the UR, 
URL right here. And the first metrics I want to point out too is the DR and the UR. They're very important and they're basically the power and the trust Google gives to your website. And you get those numbers from backlinks and referring domain. So backlink is anytime you've got another website pointing out at yours and referring domain includes all the citation anytime you've got your company name phone number and address listed somewhere counts in adds up in the referring domain keep in mind that not all backlinks and referring domains are created equal uh, for example if you had one backlink coming from pizza it's not necessarily relevant to design or renovation or kitchen or it has nothing to do with any of that and Google knows that so it could count as a spammy backlink which Google knows so uh, you want to go for more quality over quantity for sure they're also ranking for 430 words which brought them 635 people to their website so we're going to take a quick look at their keywords just going to switch that to Canada because that's where we are and we're going to see the first one they are ranking for is custom kitchen cabinets slanted ceiling which has a volume of 70 that it means it is searched 70 times per month has very low competition to it this specific one has no cost didn't bring any traffic and puts them in 17th position now we have a couple more also that's another thing you want to keep in mind uh, see like this one here vaulted kitchen ceiling uh, it's nice but because there's no uh, area there's no location to it meaning that could be someone literally in Australia looking for that keyword and it will count in the 350 and that's why it's so important to put a location as well in your keywords so it will help you find those people that are actually looking for a service so a buyer intent keyword basically so now let's jump on to your metrics because that's probably what's interesting to you so here i did put pd kitchen and bath Dot ca and you are currently at a 1.8 dr 3.7 ur you've got 11 backlinks eight referring domain and you're currently ranking for five keywords which brought you one person to your website and it's someone from the us so uh, i believe already you can probably see what could be improved uh, there's a lot that can be done very easily very quickly on your own as well so let us know if we can help you any further with that if not thank you so much for watching we will have someone following up with you in the next couple of days and if you want to provide feedback about this video we will greatly appreciate it thank you so much for watching marta have a great rest of your day